there's a lot of chatter of the is he or isn't he when it comes to the next Spider-Man. <laughs> so let me just ask you. Well, I didn't know oh, what you were going to ask then. I was like, is he or isn't he what? Like, what's the, where's this going? Well, where is it going? How do you tell me? Okay, as you sip your water, let me ask you this. How would you feel about ever having your Spidey back on the big screen in some form? Okay, so the problem with this question is that like it can be taken out of like you could take my answer out of context and you could just like make it into a thing. So like to be really clear, how would I feel hypothetically if my Spider-Man was put into the one that's about to come out? How would I feel hypothetically if? It is too big a question for me to answer. It really is. Like it's too... Like, it's, there are so many, because I would have to, like, know what the story was, and also, like, is it is it something, like, do I, would I ever want to do that again? I'm not, it's a, too big a question to answer in, like, the end of a fight, like, a five-minute interview. Like, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. All I can say is, I'm super excited about Tom Holland big being, fan. being the character, and I, I, I love him as Spider-Man, and I'm excited to see what he, what happens and what he does in this next film. Tammy Faye. What'd you do? Hello, Mother. This is Jim Baker, my husband. <laughs> it's all part of our mission to help people. Anyone who's hurting or they feel like they've been left out, God has a plan for us. What'd he tell you to do this time? Jesus keeps a ticking me higher and higher. Jim will preach and I'll sing. I was just talking to Jessica. And gosh, she's just the best. Um, what was it like for you to work with her on this project and to have such, uh, you know, such an intimate and complicated relationship that you were portraying together? Yeah, I mean, you know, she's such a consumer actor, and and she's one of one of the best out there. And and what you know, and obviously, it, it's amazing that sh this is such a a passion project for her and has been for so long. That's immediately reassuring and. Uh, made me very confident that that she wasn't gonna mess around and and that and that it, it was gonna be a really devoted kind of kind of thing to to bring Tammy to life and and I was heartened that she wanted me to, to help bring Jim to life because she knew she 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 you know she knew that I was I wasn't gonna <clears throat> scrimp on Jim in the sense of um <clears throat> you know we wanted to create something very real. We wanted to create something that was a kind of um, a deeper version of what people associate with mm. with these people because you know there's been so much said and and portrayed about about the, these two people and, and and there's been it's been a very very superficial kind of shallow uh portrayal uh, hopefully until now where where we get underneath the surface of how 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 people present themselves and how the media presents them so i think that was our main thing is, and also like at the beginning of their journey, just these two kids genuinely in love. Like yeah. the, the foundation of their relationship was was really quite genuine, as far as we understand. And we really want that was really important for us to, because otherwise, as the the rifts happen and the splits happen and the life gets complicated, and you know there's aim there's you know immoral behavior on both sides. Suddenly, if if you start with that true love. Mm. There's a, there's a, you have a, you have a story to tell. Yeah, it's all the more painful. <laughs> yeah. um, you uh, you guys, you're spectacular in this. I'm like, uh, like I'll see you at the Oscars, basically. Um, but <laughs> the transformations also, are, of course, is something everybody's talking about. What was it like for you when you would show up and you'd see Jessica in the full prosthetics and the eyes and the wigs and all that? Yeah, it was amazing. You know, it was a slow. It was a slow process. We um, <clears throat> we would start by doing dialect sessions together and talking in character, and because you know, very very specific accent work that we did with our dial wonderful dialect coach Liz Himmelstein, and obviously Tammy's from Minnesota, and I'm fr and J Jim is from Michigan by way of kind of Southern Baptist because he's been growing up listening to full well and all and like trying to replicate their rhythms so that was very specific to get into that first and then we would start sending pictures of the prosthetic tests to each other and getting each other's opinion and trying to inspire each other and whatnot and then I know there was one day where I was where I was like oh yeah there, there she is there's Tammy there and 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 her and her team just spent the whole day really zeroing in on one of her iconic looks for a screen test and to get some photos for the film 
And it was that moment of like, oh, this is going to be great. This is like these artists at work combined with Jessica's artistry. It's going to be, it's going to be really, um, really special. Oh, yeah. And how is it to see yourself older? I mean, I, I know you're a him, but what is it like when you see that? Yeah, it doesn't feel like me. It, that, that's what is really is fine because it, it's like I have a prosthetic. It's not me. It's nothing to do with me, really. Alter, that 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 part of things. But no, I I did that like I did that face app thing when like when that face app thing was a thing and Filter. yeah Ru russia was stealing our the images of our face or whatever and i was i i didn't sign up for it i borrowed my friend's one and i, I didn't mind like my I, I i'm i'm okay if if that's the way i look when i'm older i'm grand like it's fine i don't i'm <laughs> i'm cool with it like it was i look like kind of like a a skinny santa claus i was fine with it, <laughs> I love it. you know what Maybe that part's in your future, Santa Claus. What, yeah, what are you tackling? Like rail fit <laughs> Santa. It's a new take, the origin story. I heard that uh, the family would come to set or they at least came at one time. What was that like for you all uh, to meet them? The family that did come to visit, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Of course, like horribly pressurizing and terrifying and you want to run away and you want to say I'm sorry for everything I've done and like you know because you feel because these this is like you know you can't take it lightly and I don't and neither does Jessica and neither, neither did anyone making the film it's like these people lived some of them are still living Jim is still alive and well and he's you know he's he's, he's doing what he's doing um and so the the, the weight of that responsibility is Oh gosh, it's um, and then yeah, you yeah, you know, you have their relatives and their children and their cousin, like yeah. everyone, you know. So it's it's real, know, it's very it's real. real, and it's you know, it's we're all we're all like life, life ain't no joke, and and people's lives aren't you know, no one's life should be kind of um, minimized or diminished or undercut or um, you know, uh, mocked or yeah. uh, and and of course we, we we were attempting to do the opposite of all of that. Tell the story, yeah. Tammy and I are undergoing the most vicious attacks. Serving God don't feel like it should be a money-making opportunity. You know, when I saw that clipping with my face on it, I thought for a second that you were proud of me. Oh, Tammy Faye, you follow blindly. In the end, all you are is blind. These eyes. Hey, everybody. I just want to love people. The devil's coming for me, Tammy. Can we talk about Satan later, Jim?